Sometimes it seems like Nanny State nags just won't quit until they've banned every last thing that looks good, tastes good, or feels good. They've targeted bacon dogs, smoking, singing in bars, bake sales, baggy pants, and 14 states have banned fish pedicures. This is something that uh, I think uh, needs to be banned. If State Senator Jeffrey Klein has his way, New York will be next on the bandwagon. Now nannies in New York are nothing new, but what about New Hampshire? You know, the live free or die state. Fresh pedicure was banned by the state of New Hampshire. That's right, the state that lets adults ride without a helmet or drive without a seat belt won't tolerate tiny fish nibbling at dead skin. I was very, very sad. I was very uh, disappointed. Kim Ong's parents brought her family from Vietnam to America in 1985. They said this country is a, a, a country of freedom, a country of um, opportunities. Ong took that message to heart, and today she owns Kim's Spa and Nails in Derry, New Hampshire. When the recession hit, she began looking for new ways to generate business. She thought of fish pedicures. The luxurious practice is popular in Asia, and she decided she would be the first to bring it to New England. It was a big investment uh, for, for me. She invested time in researching, making sure fish pedicures were safe. The last thing she wanted to do was put her customers at risk. We do a lot of research, believe me. We, we talk to a lot of people. She also invested plenty of money, $6,000 for the fish and a water filtration system. The investment was a big risk, but it paid off when she saw how customers reacted. At first it tickled a lot, I was kind of scared, but once I got used to it, it really was a very fun experience. Word spread and soon Ong had a waiting list for this hip new service. Things were going great until the New Hampshire Board of Barbering, Cosmetology and Aesthetics stepped in. They feel that uh, fish uh, pedicure is not sanitized um, for um, the um, consumer, that's why they are banning us. I didn't see that it was a sanitation issue at all. Um, I knew from being in the salon that that was never a problem, and so I thought that it was kind of ludicrous at that point. Regulators categorize these tiny fish as tools that must be sanitized but you can't really sanitize fish like other tools. That is, unless you cook them. But, um, I mean, if you cook the fish, they all die. But if fish pedicures are dangerous, we want to know. Nick and I have been getting pedicures. A pedicure from fish. After all, Reason TV's own Nick Gillespie got a fish pedicure on John Stossel's show. I do want to point out that the uh, fish have nippled off my extra toes on each foot, so I'm uh, very grateful. Since then, we've been secretly monitoring Nick to see if he succumbs to some horrible disease. So far, so good, but we wanted New Hampshire regulators to tell us what kinds of awful afflictions might be headed Nick's way. We may never know because state regulators said they were unavailable for an interview. But we need to let people know uh, that some of the things that they do can make them sick. Where are these sick people? State Senator Klein called for a ban even though the state of New York had not received any complaints about fish pedicures. Here's Klein posing outside a salon. If there were angry victims of fish pedicures, you'd think he'd get them to pose with him. And if there were victims in New Hampshire, why wouldn't regulators point to them to make their case? Show me the person who's been sick or injured, or better yet, show me that it's a recurring problem and then maybe there's a case for some change. Dr. Adrian Moore is an economist with Reason Foundation. He says regulators are often slow to accept new innovations like fish pedicures. They're not using the newest technology the way the innovators and the entrepreneurs are. They don't maybe even understand it. I just wish that they educate themselves more a little bit um, instead of like, you know, just saying no to me. It's really the fox is guarding the hen house. What does he mean? Well, the people who regulate Ong's industry only do that part-time. Most of them are salon owners themselves. That's right, Ong is regulated by her competitors. If you're in the business in an industry, you don't want new businesses bringing new techniques that attract away your customers. This is going on all the time. Moore says most people have no idea how highly regulated entrepreneurs are until they try to start their own businesses. Every day, new businesses try to start but find out that they're not allowed to because of some regulation or it's too expensive because of some regulation. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Let's allow these new industries to emerge and that's how we grow the economy. Good advice, especially during a recession. But isn't Moore at least a little worried about what all that fish nibbling might have done to Nick? Well, no. They nibbled all over my body and I'm still fine. You see, during a recent trip to China, Moore went to a spa like this, where he enjoyed a full body fish nibbling. But Moore is worried about the nanny state. And if that's spreading into New Hampshire, the one place we thought had built up immunity to it, we may all be in bigger trouble than we thought.
For Reason TV, I'm Ted Ballinger.